All right, if you record a lot of online courses and screencasts like I do, the big question might come up, and that is ScreenFlow, which is on the Mac, or Camtasia, which can be used on both Mac and Windows. Well, I recently had the opportunity to test out Camtasia yet again. I've been using ScreenFlow for a really long time, and I just want to share my experience because it's a little surprising. Okay, so this is not going to be some generic ScreenFlow versus Camtasia comparison. If you go Google around or search YouTube, you're going to find tons of those. What I want to do is just share some real talk with you because um, I, right now I'm recording this on ScreenFlow on a Mac. I've got right below the lens here, I've got a little uh, MacBook Pro, and I'm recording, you know, this. This is basically my video setup right now, okay? Now, if you could see over there in the background, I have got a PC, and it's a, it's a gaming PC. You can see a little VR thing on top of it there. Um, and I've got these two nice big monitors, and basically, uh, a couple months ago, I decided to, to really get a, a gaming PC that I'm also going to use for work, and so, I go back and forth. Now, here's the thing. Um, the Obviously, if I'm going to sit there and record and do some of my work on that computer, I can't use ScreenFlow because ScreenFlow is as awesome as it is. It is Mac only, unfortunately, uh, whereas TechSmith Camtasia goes back and forth. You can run it on the Mac. You can run it on Windows. And so I purchased it. I actually purchased Snagit as well and purchased the bundle. And I was starting to run Camtasia over on that machine. And it's a pretty powerful machine. You know, it's got a, a, a GE Force GTX gaming card. Uh, it's probably about a $400 video card inside that computer. I mean, it's got plenty of RAM. I mean, this is not... This is not some weak computer, okay? So with all that being said, here's what was going on, is that uh, features-wise, Camtasia was fine. I thought when I opened it up and started messing with it, I'm thinking, okay, I think this is pretty much going to be a really worthy screen flow replacement that I can use on that computer because I didn't, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to have to switch this, this mic over to there and all that kind of stuff. Um, unfortunately, it didn't really work out that way. Um, you know, a Camtasia is just not all it's cracked up to be. The features are there. Uh, it, it, it's, it, it works the way ScreenFlow does. I mean, I was excited about it. Had some differences, but I could get around that. That's just changing my habits, right? But the big problems were that it's a buggy piece of crap. Uh, it, it is just does not work very well. One of the biggest issues I was having was when you're moving through the timeline and it was just really sluggish and slow. And like I said, that is not exactly a weak PC back there. Uh, the other issue that I was having was that I, when I'm recording off of this exact same camera, the recording, when I'm playing it back on screen, it looked like it was dropping frames. Like it was like this, you know, it was like, what the hell's going on with that? Um, when it, it, a few times I would record and my mic and my, my audio and my video were not quite in sync, which that doesn't make a lot of sense. I never have that issue with screen flow. Um, I was reading other people's issues with regard to having to, to re record the footage from outside of Camtasia and then bring it into Camtasia like because it uh, wasn't doing a good enough job at the recording. Um, I was hearing some people, and I had actually experienced this, to where you do the export and it's slower than molasses. And I'm like, again, that is not a weak computer. And Camtasia is supposed to have GPU acceleration, which that thing has one hell of a GPU you in it and it's sitting there slugging through it and it's not like the videos that I record here are uber fancy and it couldn't do it um, and so what it comes down to is that I probably could have figured out workarounds and I probably could have gotten it done but when I'm paying what is the price of this like $249 for a piece of software I shouldn't have to develop any new habits to get around its quirks and at the end of the day it just did not work very well. I would have had to have been fighting it. I wasted almost a day trying to get it to work without giving me a bunch of crap on that computer. And I was like, you know, this isn't worth it anymore. So at the end of the day, 
I requested a refund and got my money back from TechSmith. They didn't give me any crap about it, but it just did not work for me. And so my TechSmith Camtasia versus ScreenFlow comparison is really simple. ScreenFlow all the way, it works flawlessly. I have never had a problem with ScreenFlow. It does not do any of the crap that I just mentioned. Unfortunately, it's only available on a Mac. And so what I've got right here is that I've got that really nice PC over there that I can't really use for video recording. Now, obviously I can record on OBS or, you know, there's other ways of doing things over there. But at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, if I can't get close to the same workflow that I can streamline here on this Mac, I'm just gonna do most of my, all of my screencasting really on this Mac. And so I've got, I keep the Mac set up. I've got a, the desk here where um, it's kind of an L-shaped deal and I got the PC over there and I've got the Mac set up here. And um, that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue to use ScreenFlow and I'm just gonna be um, using both computers back and forth. I mean, at the end of the day, I'll be up front. I think the Mac is a better platform. I like the operating system better. But there are things about that that are nice, um, you know, and so uh, uh, what for me, the best of both worlds is to go back and forth and use both. But um, unfortunately, I cannot create my online courses and screencast very easily over on that machine. And it's because Camtasia just is, I don't know what it is that they did with it. Uh, I used Camtasia many years ago before I switched over to the Mac. And I mean, we're talking over 10 years ago and it did not have any of these problems. I've also talked to some people who use Camtasia and they don't have these problems. I don't know what it is, but that it's everything is fully updated over there. I don't have any driver conflicts. The PC's got gobs of horsepower and it works fine. I've got a, a friend of mine out in California that he was private messaging me on Messenger because he was also having very similar issues with Camtasia. I don't know whether he got a refund like I did, but unfortunately, that's what I did. And I just don't think Camtasia is up to snuff. I think they're charging for too much for it. And it's just something, I don't know whether it's Camtasia or whether it's some flaw with Windows. I have no idea. But that's what happened with me. All right. So if you've got a Mac, it really rocks for screen recording. It's honestly, it, it works so well for screen recording that if I didn't already have a Mac, I probably would buy one just for this program. I would probably go and get a Mac Mini or something like that, stick it here in the office, and I would just do my screen recording on that. Because ScreenFlow is so much better than Camtasia. All right. Talk to you later.